This is a very serious matter, and to take it seriously, I propose we start by looking at human diversity. Consider an example. You're a 19-year-old American soldier, and you've been drafted to fight the Nazis in France. And you have, to put it bluntly, never done it before. And before the eve of a big battle, you go and you buy sex from a French woman who maybe needs the money to feed her kids. Or maybe you're a young man and you have sexual problems and you hire a sexual surrogate to help you with those problems and you go on to have a loving and successful marriage. Or maybe you're a handicapped person who for whatever reasons finds it uh, a better way to achieve sexual ends is to pay for sex. These are all examples of the diversity of the human condition. What the other side is neglecting is this diversity a diversity of individuals, a diversity of situations, a diversity of cultures. If you look at the broad sweep, the history of mankind, there's a big long book by Niels Ringdahl on the history of prostitution. He looks at medieval India, he looks at the Tang Dynasty, he looks at Renaissance courtesans, and what you find is a wide variance of outcomes. You find a lot of cases where things go fine, and you find a lot of cases where things don't go fine. I propose what we have here is a human activity which very frequently is badly regulated. And when it is badly regulated, you will see massive amounts of abuse, unfairness, exploitation. And I recognize the other side in pointing out these abuses. But the problem is that it is a badly regulated activity. There are many, many cases, three of which I've outlined, where consenting adults meet they meet voluntarily, both of them are better off, and buying of the sex is not wrong. All of the abuses listed by the other side, you can find in another institution called marriage. If you go around the world and go to poorer cultures and ask within marriage, how often is there rape, how often is there abuse, exploitation, unequal terms, all the way down the line, Women who are too young to be married, you see this happen all the time. But to go back to our resolution, the correct answer is not to condemn marriage, to say that marriage is wrong. In a way, you can think of prostitution as a bit like, dare I say, banking. As we know here in New York, banking is very frequently badly regulated. And you find in many countries, believe it or not, right here in Manhattan, you find examples of abuses, fraud, exploitation, and banking. But again, the correct attitude or answer is not to say that all banking is wrong. There's simply a category error being made by the other side in this debate. And again, think back to your core intuitions. There are many, many cases, millions, billions of cases in human history where informed, consenting adults have gotten together and someone has bought sex from another person and again, I am submitting that these cases are not wrong. Go take a look at New Zealand, where prostitution is legal. It has been legal since 2003. The other side didn't mention New Zealand at all. There's a big, long report written by the New Zealand government about how this experiment has gone. Uh, there's a lot of evidence that it's actually gone pretty well. Uh, a survey of the prostitutes revealed that 73% of them do it to pay household expenses. 24% of them are doing it to pay for education. 38% are doing it to help out their children or support an older family member. And the rates of abuse, coercion, and rape, uh, the rate of rape is extremely low. It seems to be lower in prostitution than in a lot of other settings. But again, these are not the examples you're hearing. The point, again, that I'm stressing is this diversity that when you have consenting adults there are, again, many cases where it's simply possible that it is an okay thing to do. There are many other sectors of the economy we can look at. If you ask the Bureau of Labor Statistics, what is the most dangerous job in the United States, at least according to the Bureau, it's being a fisherman and going out on a fishing boat. It's an extremely hazardous occupation. There's a lot of loss of life, loss of limb, people being crippled, unfair conditions, illegal immigrants, who work under conditions that are not right. And again, these are real problems. But to think of it in terms of morality, we ask, what is the moral issue here? The moral issue is when you have unsafe fishing boats, 
or when fishing is not regulated properly, or when we as society don't think about fishing and industrial safety in all the right ways. No one thinks to say fishing is wrong, buying fish is wrong, fishing boats are wrong. Again, it is simply this category error. I would even submit that if we take the point of view suggested by the opposition, the more we try to blackball, ban, condemn an activity that we all know has existed in every society, it always pops up. There is always a black market. There are many different ways of trading sex. It is not going away. If there's one thing that we all should realize in this room, is that the buying of sex is not going away. What we want is that it happen in a better way rather than a worse way. We need to have a constructive attitude. I do not hear that constructive attitude from the other side. What I hear is an attitude that will put this practice under a greater veil of secrecy. It will make it harder for the people who are selling to go to the law when they have problems. It will make it more of a social disgrace and it will worsen the problems with the working conditions rather than improve it. I'd also note, just as an aside, just how culturally bound and institution specific uh, the complaints are. For instance, in Melissa Farley's presentation, it's always man and woman, man buying from woman. There's no talk of gay prostitution. There's not much talk of the broader sweep of human history, of practices of dowries, of the numerous tribes in human history who have taken very different attitudes than that which we hold. In fact, if you poll the majority of human beings over time, the most likely answer you're going to hear is that the people who are doing something wrong are the men who are trying to get sex without paying for it simply by seducing the woman. Anyway, thank you all.